Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 11th of July, Microsoft rolled out the July Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And unfortunately, once again, we have another update issue. Now, the update in question is this update, KB5028182, which rolled out for the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2. And according to reports, the issues are only affecting Windows 11 21H2 after this update, 5028182, has been installed. Now, what is happening um, for some users using third-party UI customization apps after this update has been installed, third-party uh, customization apps like Explorer, Patcher, and Start All Back, um, which are popular um, th customization apps, as many of you may know. And basically what they do um, is they actually modify the Windows Explorer.exe process, which is basically the shell of your computer. So... Um, and your operating system. So that's your start menu, your taskbar, your system tray, your file explorer, just to mention a couple of examples. So they basically modify the Windows Explorer.exe process. And what's happening in that process now, after the update has been installed, it's causing things like Windows Explorer and the file explorer to crash and the certain elements like the start menu and so on to crash or start up in a loop, which obviously is not the desired result after installing a security update. Now, before we dive a little bit more deeper, just a quick um, uh, overview of the two apps like Explorer Patcher and Start All Back uh, in case you're unaware what those apps are all about. Now, Explorer Patcher, as an example, what it does, um, first of all, it's an open source third-party piece of software you can download from GitHub. And what it does is it customizes the Windows 11 start menu, the taskbar, the file explorer, the system tray. Um, to look very similar visually to Windows 10, as an example. And then the other app, um, which is called Start All Back, does very much the same thing, give or take. And Start All Back um, also can let you modify your Windows 11 start menu and the other shell components of your operating system to look more like Windows 7 or Windows 10. Now, um, just a quick heads up, if you haven't installed this update yet, which for most, it would most probably would be installed already because uh, it is a compulsory mandatory security update that will be downloaded and installed automatically. But nonetheless, um, if you haven't installed the update yet, um, then you need to uninstall Explorer Patcher and or start all back if you are using either or or any of those apps on your system. That's the first suggestion is uninstall those apps first and then install this update. Now, if you have already installed the update, and are experiencing the problems, as mentioned in this video, then um, according to reports, you can try updating to the latest version of Start All Back, as an example, which will be version 3.5.6 or later. Now, if we head to their website, we can see the latest ver version is 3.6.8. So just make sure you have the latest version installed. And at this stage, um, Microsoft uh, is looking into the issue. They are aware of the issue. But there's nothing official as yet over on their known issues health dashboard page. So if any more information does become available, then obviously um, I will post and let you guys know. But as mentioned, in the meantime, if you are using those third-party UI customization apps, then you should avoid installing this Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 21H2 before the issue is resolved. And if you have installed the update and you are experiencing issues which you cannot resolve, then obviously... Uh, it has, is advised then to uninstall um, the update if the negatives are outweighing the positives. You can uninstall the update uh, um, through um, your Windows settings, as many of you will know. But obviously, this is a security update that has rolled out. So obviously, it's not advised. Um, but as mentioned, if the, uh, the negatives are outweighing the positives, then just uninstall the update until Microsoft rolls out a fix. But just take note, you need to pause the update and after you have uninstalled it, because obviously if you don't, it will just try and reinstall itself at a later stage. So just letting you know, Explorer Patcher, Start All Back are causing issues with the latest Patch Tuesday secured update for Windows 11 21H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.